What's going on everybody and welcome in. I want to take a few moments today to talk about Way of the Hunter once again. There's a few different topics I'm going to touch on. A lot of it the community has been hard at work with. Others I'm just speculating on. One is going to be a new animal and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in this video today. But first, I want to take a look at the landscape a little closer with this tool and try and gain a better perspective as to what we can expect at launch. This beautiful A-frame cabin is shown a lot during the trailer, so I'm going to use these shots to scale the map in a way. Then I'm going to use the mountains around this cabin as a reference point for a larger scene. First look is this amazing scene where we can see weather is going to be an element to navigate throughout our hunt. I would be expecting the weather to shift throughout the entire day at random. So in this shot, more than the cabin, I want to pay mind to the mountain behind it as it's easy to spot here. So if we use that image with the mountain in relation to the cabin, it looks like it's going to be quite the trek to get over there from where we are right now. I also want to point out in this shot, what I think is a lodge, it's a massive lodge. But in this shot, just before, it looks tiny. It looks teeny tiny, so I'm not sure what's going on here, if it's going to be this scene that we're seeing here from far away, if it's a perspective change. Looks like it's going to be a perspective change really in my opinion. They do look like the same lodge. Here's that one again, and if you notice down on the bottom right of the lodge, there are some bright lights, and it does look like we might have a vehicle or an ATV of some sort. And depending on the noise, that could really cut down on that walk we were just about to take. So here's what I meant by that perspective change. They kind of did like an overlay, it looks like. And the perspective of that image is actually changing from a certain viewpoint to this viewpoint that's actually closer but I'm not really sure because I'm really just learning about overlays and masks so I'm barely fluent in this kind of stuff but I want to shift away from that and talk about some of the gear we can expect to handle and here you can see the lady has a drop down holster a backpack and a shin guard for the match after the hunt Vortex is in here with the 10 by 42 Viper HDs and those things should be crystal clear. They're also coming in with the Vortex Razor HD and I'm not sure which magnification we're going to get. We can just hope that we're going to get a plethora of different magnifications. Steyr Arms is in here with the monoblock and I haven't used this rifle, haven't heard anything about it, so leave me a comment if you know anything. The Leopold VX3 HD 4.5 through 14 by 50 is a nice scope and it's very clear. That's pretty much it for the confirmed gear. Now what is this thing? I almost want to say that this thing is a feeder of some sort. I can't quite tell, but it does look like it is man-made and has a lot of rectangular, triangular shapes, very hard lines. It doesn't seem like it would be a rock, but I guess this whole thing was man-made in a sense. It's in two different shots, and whenever I pan through each scene, it doesn't seem to skew in any way. So it could very well be just a misshapen rock that I'm taking for something else. I do like to speculate a lot. But when I look at this, I want to believe it's a feeder or a trough of some sort. Now to the animal I promised you, here it is. I do believe this is a snow goose. And I'm going to show you why I believe this is a snow goose. It has a lot of details that look like it could be a snow goose. They're solid white with black tipped wings I mean this shot really shows the best detail of them and why I think that they are a snow goose the birds are flying together in the same direction like I assume a huntable species of bird in game would look 
hit up the discord and let me know what you are thinking or drop a comment below of course but these details are almost undeniable that this thing is another bird that we can expect to be hunting here is the image of the mallards and because of their green heads i really don't think that they're the same birds we were just looking at and finally i want to leave you with this image of the bighorn sheep and their difference in fur variation it is a beautiful model and i really can't wait to get out on the mountain with that i'm gonna get out of here get out of your hair thanks for watching as always have a good day